Good morning, wrestling fans. Today is Sunday, November 12th, 2023. Lance Brack here on this Sunday morning. Here to talk pro wrestling with everyone on this episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans. First of all, I just want to say that I am very sorry for not having a new episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic last night, so was not able to talk about last night's episode of Collision. And I believe this might have been the first time since Collision has started that I missed an episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic recapping the episode. Sorry, the voice, the allergies, everything still giving me a little bit of trouble. So, right here on Good Morning Wrestling Fans on this Sunday, I'll go over last night's episode a little bit. And we kick things off with the usual backstage interviews from all the superstars who will be competing in tonight's matches. Then we go into the intro and we hear some Elton John Saturday nights all right for fighting right here on Collision. And our commentators tonight, Tony Schiavone and Nigel McGuinness. Tony Schiavone filling in for Kevin Kelly this week who he said was on assignment. Not quite sure what that assignment was. I know he was in the U.S. uh, because I'm pretty sure he did. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, but I'm pretty sure he called the Lone Star Shootout for New Japan Friday night. But like I said, I still haven't had a chance to check that out yet. I hope to, though. And back to Collision, we have Andrade El Idolo defeating Daniel Garcia. CJ Perry was at ringside for this one, scouting both men. Lately, she's been teasing that she's been looking for some kind of stable or something as of late. And then in the back, we see Miro watching on the monitor laughing. And Nick Wayne was in action with Christian Cage and Luchasaurus in his corner as he defeats Dalton Castle along with the boys in his corner. And we have uh, Faxian and Canable, Rush and Derestico, with Jose, the assistant, and Preston Vance in their corner. Defeat the workhorsemen and uh, J.D. Drake and Anthony Henry, the workhorsemen. Sorry. And also... Before that, though, we had an interview with where Roosh and Preston Vance said that they are coming after the AEW World Tag Team titles. And Roderick Strong, along with the kingdom, making his way to the ring, his entrance in a wheelchair but still competed defeated Darius Martin and then as soon as the match was over he put the briefcase briefcase sorry he put the neck brace back on keeping the gimmick going And next up on Collision, 
it is women's action and first honoring the house of black julia hart taking on willow nightingale julia hart with brody king in her corner which has been a thing uh, for a little while now when Julia Hart has been in action she has had the big man Brody Lee in her corner which I have to admit I do like the pairing of Julia Hart and her having some muscle and Brody King in her corner. I think they work very well together, having him out there in her corner. And he was even yelling to her a few times in the match, I get her back in the ring, or in the ring, he was yelling, get on her, things like that. I thought that was pretty well. Julia Hart defeats Willow Nightingale. And I'm not sure if this was actually made in a, made official, but earlier we saw the House of Black in the back, and Julia Hart told Chris Statlander that she wants it if she defeats Willow Nightingale, that she will get a AEW TBS Championship match at the Full Gear pay-per-view next Saturday. And I'm not sure if that has actually been made official just yet. But I definitely wouldn't doubt it. So I'm sure next week at Full Gear we will see Julia Hart defend the TBS Championship against or challenge for the TBS Championship, I'm sorry, against Chris Statlander. Powerhouse Hobbs, along with the Don Cass family in his corner, is in action. Next, defeats Tyson, Titus Alexander. And after this one, because during the match, no more BS. Paul White is in the commentary. And they go over to him. Because they have the eight man tag coming up next Wednesday on Impact. Or this Wednesday, I should say. Or Dynamite. <sighs> Sorry. My head's so stuffed up, I don't even know what I'm saying. Don Callis family will be taking on the team of Paul White, Chris Jericho, Kenny Omega, and Kota Ibushi. There, I got all the names right, luckily. With the, these allergies in my head, and everything's been stuffed up so much. Sometimes it's hard. To concentrate on what even what I'm just talking about or thinking about. And in the main event of Collision last night, we had the icon sting Darby Allen and the rated R Superstar. I know that wasn't good, but I was trying to kind of do a Tony Chimmel impression there, but wasn't definitely as good. They take on the team of the Righteous and the Murder Hawk Monster Lance Archer with the legendary Jake the Snake Roberts in his corner. And Sting and Darby, of course, they've been teaming for quite a while now. And they worked together as usual. And I thought Adam Copeland worked pretty well with 
Sting and Darby Allen in this one too. And also I thought Lance Archer and the Righteous Vincent and Dutch in this one. They did a good job as working as the heels against three of the top baby faces in the promotion. And Adam Copeland got the win for his team. Good main event this week on Collision. And overall, it was a pretty good episode of AEW Saturday Collision this week. Again, sorry I didn't talk about it last night on 360 Wrestling Fanatic. But just like I said, with all these allergies and working and everything been stuffed up, have been tired. But we'll definitely try to be back tomorrow night to talk about Raw. And speaking of Collision, Collision will be airing on Friday night next week. So I don't know why when I previewed yesterday's show I messed up and said last night was the last one, but well, it's the last Saturday episode of Collision, though, to be fair. Uh, Collision airing on Friday night this week, the night before the full gear pay-per-view, and then right after Collision will be Rampage in the Wind Trust Arena, which is the site of full gear. So, already thinking about it, I wonder if they'll have to maybe use a new theme song for One Night Only. Since it's on a Friday, it would kind of seem a little silly than playing Elton John's Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting. So, unless maybe they just don't show the intro. But maybe they'll think of a... Like a One Night Only theme song they could use. Since it'll be a special Friday night collision. And that is all for this Sunday episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans. Thank you everyone for tuning in. It is always appreciated you listening. And like I said, next new episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic will probably be tomorrow night to talk about Raw and then I will be back tomorrow morning for the Monday episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans and I will talk to you all then but until then have a great pro wrestling day